You ever been to a yard sale? I yard sale a lot. One of the main things you can guarantee to find at a yard sale is a belt. Uh, oftentimes you can find people getting rid of perfectly good leather belts and uh, they're of really good quality actually like this one here. Uh, but half the time, being a guy like myself, pretty skinny, uh, they're all too big for me. Uh, but one of the things that you can do with these oversized belts or just a leather belt in general that you find at a yard sale uh, is to make a sling out of it. Now I have this mossy oak sling right here and it, and it doesn't really quite go well with this, uh, this wood and metal that's, that this rifle is here. However, this leather belt that I have here, it's an old leather belt, I just put a Levi buckle on there, goes really well with this wood. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this up just a little bit, utilize the Chicago screws that are in there. And if you're going to do this yourself, you might need to go buy a couple of Chicago screws. I'll show you what those are in just a second. But uh, it ain't going to be nothing more than just trimming it up and, and fitting it to these swivel slings. So uh, we'll see how this goes. So this is a Chicago screw right here. And uh, it's really simple. All you really do is if you want to hold two pieces of leather together like that, you just insert one uh, side of the Chicago screw into the leather. And then with the other one, you just, as stated, screw it in. And it will hold your two pieces of leather together. Just a loop there, and we'll use that to uh, feed it onto a swivel sling mount. All right, so this is a Uncle Mike's uh, swivel sling mount here that you can buy from Walmart. They typically run around 10 bucks. You can find them online for around seven bucks on Amazon or something like that to throw them in as an add-on item. But uh, as you can see, I believe these are a uh, inch and a half, maybe somewhere around there, maybe, yeah, something like that, or a one inch swivel sling loop. Uh, so some trimming will be needed to be done. So what we'll do is we'll angle off some of the side here and fit it to it. Now you can see here, I've trimmed off some of the edges here and that's so that it can fit in between these, uh, fit inside of this, this sling loop. And uh, if you have a different size sling loop, then you, of course you probably won't have to trim or if you have a different size uh, belt here. But uh, all I'm gonna do is just trim it up just so that I can fit inside of there. And then we're gonna drill a hole straight through there and insert the Chicago screw. That's really all we need to do. You can see here I got one side done. Now all I need to do is go to the other side, measure the amount of slack that I need for the rifle and where I want the rifle to sit, and then uh, do the exact same thing to the other side. Well, there it is, and you can get a little cleaner than I did up there. You can just round that off, which I'll do here in a second. But a uh, really simple little project, really highly effective. I mean, if you could take a look at that, it looks really nice on that rifle. You know, that nice wood, you know, matching with that nice leather there. But anyway, hit your local yard sales, you know, find those sweet looking belts like this right here, real genuine leather, and uh, put yourself together a sweet little sling. But I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, if you give me a little like down there, every little like helps. And uh, we're always looking to put out little tidbits of information like this for you guys, give you guys some ideas. But uh, anyway, we'll catch you guys next time.